Hi, welcome to Education Leaves. In this video, I am going to discuss break-even analysis. Topics I am covering are, what is break-even analysis? The formula of break-even analysis. Break-even chart, construction of break-even chart, the margin of safety, the angle of incidence, and limitations of break-even chart. Let's start the video. What is break-even analysis? Break-even analysis helps to calculating and examining the margin of safety of a business, based on the revenues collected and associated cost. In other words, the break-even analysis shows how many sales it takes to pay for the cost of doing business. Break-even analysis implies that at some point in the operations, total revenue has to be equals to the total cost. Break-even analysis can be performed algebraically or graphically. Now come to, the break-even analysis formula. The break-even point can be calculated by using the following formula. Break-even point equals to, F, divided by 1 minus, V divided by P. Where F equals to fixed cost. V equals to variable cost per unit, and P equals to the selling price of each unit. Let's move on to the break-even chart. A break-even chart is the graphical representation of the relation between cost and revenue at a given time. It is a graphic tool to determine the break-even point, and profit potential, under the varying condition of output and costs. Let's construct the break-even chart. Break-even chart consists of y-axis, which representing total cost, and total revenue, and x-axis, representing units of output, or sales volume, or number of unit produced. There are three lines marked as, A, B, and C on the break-even chart. Line A representing the fixed cost function, fixed cost doesn't change with the increase of sales volume. Line B representing the total cost, which is increasing linear, it is a monotonic function that increases with the increasing volume of production. Total cost results from the summation of fixed costs and variable cost. Line C represents sales revenue line, or total sales, this line shows the income at varying levels of output. This point called the break-even point. The break-even point making no profit and no loss situation, for a given volume of production. The area between the total cost line, and total sales revenue line on the left side of the break-even point, marks loss to the concern. And, the area between the same lines on the right side of the break-even point, represents the profit. The profit comes only when more than this volume of output is reached and profit increases at a faster rate than the increase of the total costs. The margin of safety presented on the break-even chart by the distance between break-even points, and the production output. A large distance indicates that profit will be there even if there is a serious drop in production. If the distance is relatively small, it indicates profit will be reduced considerably with a sign of a small drop in productive capacity or sales. Now, the angle of incidence is the angle at which the sales revenue line cuts the total cost line. A large angle indicates that profit is making at a high rate. A high margin of safety with a large incidence angle is an indication of favorable business position. Limitations of break-even chart 1. The break-even point is difficult to determine in many cases, due to market condition may not remain constant over the range of projected capacity. 2. The total cost line representing the summation of variable costs and fixed costs, and this need to be a straight line, but in actual costs do not usually vary in direct proportion. 3. The break-even analysis chart presents difficulties when an enterprise produces a variety of products. If you want to read the break-even analysis in details, go through the link in the description. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.